heaven inside of it. But ironically, the Ark of the Covenant, the dimensions given in the Bible for the Ark of the Covenant, means that that Ark would have been able to sit perfectly inside that so-called sarcophagus in the king's chamber. Perfect fit. The dimensions where, of, the, where, where, of, the, of the sarcophagus in the thing? king's chamber where, would, have, where, would have housed that, that um, Ark of the where, Covenant perfectly. So oh when you do, when you do the math, hold God. on, let's, let's connect some dots here because we're on to something. If you no, put the Ark of the no, Covenant inside of it, well, John <laughs> asked me a question of why I think it's a power plant, and I think this is uh, pertinent evidence here. If you put the Ark of the Covenant inside of that sarcophagus in the king's chamber, what was supposedly inside of the Ark of the Covenant? Some God, kind of God was in the source. Ark of the Covenant. Are you are you God was in the Ark of the Covenant? Are you fucking saying that they used God? God was in the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Okay, so when they carried it in the battle, right? Didn't they carry it in the battle? And they said that yes. people who looked at it would die? Yes. Right, so you're saying that was God in there doing that? Yes. Oh, oh, where, in Bi where in the Bible does it say that? Oh, jeez. So wait, the civilization that built this was decadent and corrupt, but they were still able to use God as a power source? <laughs> this right. is really, really weird. I know. Yeah, I'm not saying that God was, was in the Ark of the Covenant. I think what was in the Ark of the Covenant was some kind of high power uh, source of some kind that, that they would use in battle to defeat their enemies. And I think actually that could have been what Moses used to part the Red Sea. I think that's why Pharaoh went after Moses in the first place yeah, because he I mean, took it. Think about that. Why did the, took the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> right. He took the Ark of the Covenant with him when he left, I think. <laughs> come, come down, come I, I, down. There's no contradiction in what I'm saying, no matter how much you guys want to laugh about it. It's funny that I'm people are laughing like, about it, but you can't argue with it. I think that's very telling. John asked me a question, and, and you won't yeah. even let me answer without laughing. Okay. Dude, you're laughing it's, it's, it. <laughs> it's a fair answer. Well, it's, I just, I just, it's not a biblical one, but. Oh. It's not biblical. I mean, connect the dots. It's not okay. Wow, well, Ar arcane. It's, Here, here's a question: I mean, Why did Pharaoh yes, go after Moses? Twenty-five. Because eight. he was stealing his damn Wait, slaves. Let them make me a sanctuary <laughs> that I may dwell in their midst. That's in reference to the Ark of the Covenant. Wait, wait, wait. What? Repeat that. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell in their midst. That's Exodus twenty-five eight. So you took that to mean that God was sitting inside the Ark of the Covenant. Well, God His was a God was once. there. He's not sitting. But, yeah. well, what's he doing? Is he standing in there? Is he? Well, is he? <laughs> God is omnipresent. Are you seriously? Are you the you can't put God in a box, bro. <laughs> if a God could be a human, why can't he? Be you can't. In well, well, you're talking about putting God in a box. In spirit, like yeah. he's present. Yeah. Like God, God can put himself into a human form. Man, but he can't be in a box. Then what's apparently. so crazy about putting him in a box? Yeah, putting God in a box. You get that from that passage. It's, I think that's very it's weak. A box. It's a holy place. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Ark of the Covenant was not just a holy place, bro. It was actually <laughs> made out of material. This right. Is, it's a special oh, place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I guess this was fun. You guys aren't being serious, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I'm saying God is in the presence of the Ark of the Covenant, and he's saying it's a fucking power, ancient power source. He's totally right, because that's right, what the Bible says. <laughs> I get I get really really angry when people it's, just completely fuck history in the ass like this did. Yeah, epi epi epi. Now let's see what they had in Ark was a zero zero point module that they stole from a prophet. <laughs> oh yeah, that. <laughs> God. Ah. I, okay, John K had the funniest statement uh, ever. I think our king gets his theology from Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I was thinking Indiana Jones by the end of this. It's just like, jeez, has he got a whip and a funny fedora? What's going on?